Back now with a struggle to recover after a pretty serious fire in Perquimans County. The fire tore through a mobile home within minutes. The couple who lived there was already going through some tough times even before the fire. Sit on your side, Kara Dixon has more for us. Kara? Anita, the Forbes family says it's been a difficult few weeks for them after that fire. Now they have a message for the community this holiday season. It should have been the third anniversary of the Forbes family moving into their home in Hertford. You've done a lot. We just had the trailer and we put everything else up around us and worked really, really, really hard. And now everything's gone. Instead, Jennifer and Will spent the day cleaning up the destruction of fire left behind at 137 Hoskins Lane two weeks ago. I was just devastated standing in my PJs with nothing else. Forbes says a wood stove started the fire, destroying all of their hard work. They were able to escape with their dog, Jessica. It's just been overwhelming. Uh, my mind is just totally a mess. I'm out of work. My husband's disabled. He gets a very small income, so we're just taking it day by day. I must cry for him, yeah. Felt so bad. It's a shame it really is. He's a good guy. Douglas Pickup is a family friend. He brought his own family to help out. I told him when he needed me to let me know, but he was like, uh, yeah, I know you got a bad back, and I know he's messed up good, and I said, well, we can hurt together. Pickup says he's also disabled, but wanted to be there. He and Forbes are now asking the community to come forward and help them clean out the lot with those who are physically struggling. What gets me is how, you know, the community around here, nobody's really trying to help him. You know, he's disabled, I'm disabled, but I'm doing what I can to help him. Forbes says she desperately needs assistance and knows that by clearing the lot, her family can try to move forward. If anyone can reach out to us and just come and help us clean up, you know, at least when the lot is clear, then we can take the next step. Forbes says she's staying with her sister-in-law during this time and a GoFundMe has been set up by her daughter who lives in Canada. We'll post that information for you on wavy.com. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.